This is Dave Meltzer with Entrepreneurs The Playbook, and I have one of my favorite companies in the entire world, and uh, I am a big Flying Spur fan myself, but Christoph George, he's the president and CEO of Bentley Americas. I think it's the epitome of class and performance here in America when it comes in the automobile industry. Welcome, Christoph, to The Playbook. Thank you very much, David. Very happy to be with you today. Oh, I'm so excited because I've always wondered how a classic brand, one that represents luxury, especially here in America, the high, highest echelons of class and quality, how you deal with all of the different transformations in America uh, with the issues that you have with sustainability uh, and especially with the new electrification of vehicles. You know, there seems to be a, a challenge for the luxury brands to allow themselves to utilize in, you know, a, a less mass market, uh, the idea of sustainability. But it seems like, once again, Bentley's leading the way. What are your plans or road to the electrification of Bentley? Yes, in terms of transformation, uh, it does not only affect the luxury. So it is probably the biggest transformation ever in the automotive world, leading to more sustainability. And uh, we are not immune for it. But rather of being uh, reactive, uh, uh, what we want to achieve is a clear leadership position as a luxury uh, mobility uh, uh, company in this sector by 2030. And this will happen step by step. Um, uh, our goal is by 2030, all our product lines will be fully electric. But in between, we will start by offering an hybrid derivative in each of our market sector for each of our product range portfolio. This will happen by 2025. And 2025 will be the date or the year where we are going to introduce our first BEV. But I will say um, uh, electrification is only one component of sustainability. We take sustainability in its wider sense. Yes, it is about CO2 emission, but it is about diversity also. It is about maintaining the unique skills of our craftsmen, making luxury what it is in our company and developing those skills. Uh, it is about ethical sourcing of material. It is about... Uh, supporting local communities. So we really take sustainability in its wider sense. And again, with the objective to become the most sustainable luxury uh, uh, mobility company by 2030. And, you know, maybe I'm biased, but there seems to be something special about Bentley, whether you're just looking at it driving by you or you're actually blessed to be able to drive one. Either way, there's an energy or uh, there's something that to me separates you from other luxury brands, even outside the automobile market. There, there's something, and you've worked with luxury brands for so long. It's part of your playbook to success. What do you think it is that distinguish Bentley so that when people either see it or they actually are blessed to drive in it, that they know that this is even a, a bit above what normal luxury is? I mean, it is always uh, starting with what you see. And what you see is a design. So exterior design being a very refined, at the same time being very potent and charismatic. So the, the, the car really uh, um, uh, is outstanding on the, on the road. You cannot miss it. But it is refined at the same time. It is elegant. And when I speak of design, it's as well as execution of the interior being considered by your peers as the best interior in the automotive industry in terms of attention to detail, craftsmanship, etc. Bentley has always represented the best combination of luxury and performance and without any compromise. Usually when you have a sports car, you compromise comfort and luxury. When you have a comfortable car, you compromise the sporty attributes. With Bentley, you have the best of both worlds. And now we are adding a third leg to this definition being sustainability. And you have key values that also are inherent 
in the Bentley brand and the Brentley products, uh, the luxury products that you have, what are the company values that go into creating that distinctive luxury product? Yes, I mean, if I take it a step uh, um, uh, backwards, uh, we have uh, studied quite extensively what are the code of luxury. And the luxury code, and which derive, and, and our values are deriving from it. And luxury code for future of luxury, um, you can, when you look at it, 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 there are a lot of codes which will remain in the future, like authenticity, which is one of our values and which has always been the case with Bentley. Um, authenticity, craftsmanship, uh, quality of uh, execution, um, uh, as well as uh, the story behind what we do, you know, moving to, for, forward in the future, luxury, which is fake, will disappear. So you need substance behind luxury. With the power of social media, the storytelling, um, you, you, you need to be authentic. So authenticity is definitely one of, of our core values. Um, and then uh, we look at customer change of behaviors in terms of willingness to experience much more, uh, uh, to uh, sometimes do not buy, but use. But when they buy and when they are part of the Bentley community, they want to live extraordinary experiences. So our mission as a company is all about extraordinary journey. And, um, and you know, we are collaborating and collaboration in Amazon value quite well. And we have always done it with our customers to create unique object of art they want to wear. So we commission, execute cars as per the wishes of our customer. And this value of collaboration is ex extremely strong in our business. But then there is a new value, which is all about, it's not exactly a value, but a code of luxury, which is all about relevance maintaining the relevance of luxury car in the future. And this is where you see new dimension like sustainability, innovation, uh, technology, digi digitalization, and innovation and sustainability are two other very important value for, for Bentley. And the, the last one, which is a part of the code of luxury is a community. You all want to be individual, do what you want in life, but you want to be part of something. And with our customers, we have the most elite refined community in the world, and we put them together through some digital solutions. But if I want just to summarize our value, I still need to answer properly your question. It's about authenticity, collaboration, innovation, sustainability, and the last one is integrity. These are our key values as Bentley. And those values are inherent in all of the different products that you offer, but you have such a strong product offering now. Comparatively, when I, I was young and bought my first Bentley, there wasn't this whole litany of a product, this real strong brand with real strong products incorporating the collaboration, the innovation, the integrity, the sustainability. Um, for you, what does that represent for Bentley to have such a strong product offering that goes beyond you know, just one model of a car? Um, you know, everything always starts with a proper understanding of your customers. Uh, and this is a key, probably the, the most important uh, uh, definer of your success. I give you some example, uh, uh, which will answer your, your questions. When in 2003, we presented our new continental GT, for which we invested four years before, twice our annual turnover to develop it. We were very small. A lot of people, journalists, automotive experts, didn't believe in it, just believe that we were going to be bankrupt, simply because in the market, the luxury sector for two-door, four-seater didn't exist. We created it, but we knew it. We knew it because we knew what customer wanted to have. And then we had a multiplayer business by a factor of 10. So we disrupted the market with a proper understanding of our customers today and the trends moving forward. If you take the example of Bentega, the first luxury SUV we launched in 2015, if you remember the comments at the time or before we announced it, 
a lot of people didn't believe that in the luxury sector, you can have an American truck, what we call a truck, you know? Um, but we knew our customer, we knew they, were, they wanted to have a luxury SUV and this proposition was not satisfied in the marketplace. So we did it and, and look at what has happened since, since all other luxury car manufacturers came with an SUV or are planning to, you know? So our product portfolio to answer your question has been directly defined from our understanding of the customers. Even if in some cases, decisions were not so easy because we disrupted the market. We needed to be bold and be a little bit, uh, um, can I say this, daring or take some risk, you know? But it has worked because of this customer understanding. And the same could be valid for electrification. We, 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 we have a, a strong uh, uh, belief and understanding of our customers today, believing that, you know, they will all be happy uh, and proud to drive a customer a car from a, a manufacturer taking its responsibilities, as long as we do not compromise Bentley values, the DNA of Bentley, and what they are currently enjoying and finding in our cars still remain in the future. So, yeah. I was going to say, how hard, how hard is it, you know, with all the demands, especially the regulatory demands in the United States, to keep that integrity with the hybridization of the Flying Spur and the Bentega, uh, to keep that high quality performance when you have to also uh, take into consideration the hybridization that you've been able to utilize. I know imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And it seems to me every time you launch something new, everybody else is a few years behind. But I see, you know, the other luxury brands imitation of what Bentley has done. Has it been difficult with the technology to maintain the performance with hybridization and the electronic evolution? I mean, it is always a challenge. But obviously, we have an engineering department with 1,000 engineers who have to work on it and make sure that Bentley remains Bentley. You know, it is roughly 20, 25% of our employees are great engineers. Just to make sure that first we comply with regulations, which is a challenge in terms of investment and technology, and then find the appropriate solutions together with group, because as you know, we are part of both second group. So together with group to find the right innovations and solution to remain a proper Bentley as customer would want it to be. And that, last but not least, uh, luxury trends. Uh, you had started one, you know, obviously with the first luxury SUV. Where are the trends going now? What, what should we anticipate seeing in the innovation side from Bentley uh, to surprise the world and allow them to catch up? You know, um, <clears throat> electric technology is um, changing a little bit. Uh, um, the, 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 how can I say this? The way the car is, uh, or sorry, the constraints you have in the way you design your car. So for example, interior space, can be managed differently. You don't have an engine anymore, but you have batteries underneath. So uh, 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 the, the way you have to cope with a new technological requirement gives you as well opportunities to deal with the space of the car, what it is, through different body shape, differently. And our, uh, our job is to create out of this new design and this new proportions of a car, uh, 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 an elevated luxury experience. And you've elevated that beyond just automobiles. I know you guys are developing, I think it's going to be done in 2026, your own 60-story, 749-foot-high luxury residential tower in Miami. Um, what was that decision like for you in order to start, you know, utilizing a brand to put it on to all luxury types of products, especially a high-rise? Yes, <clears throat> I mean, this is what we call brand e extension. I mean, you can have the Bentley DNA in terms of uh, refinement, design, uh, execution of uh, materials and craftsmanship, etc., in other concepts than a car. And we have been for four years asked by, by customers, can you design my jet or my yacht or 
school, I have the Bentley design in my house. We developed a partnership with Luxury Living. It's an Italian company doing Bentley furniture well before we started to consider uh, high rise. So high rise is just in the continuation of what we call brand extension. So our customer can find uh, all attributes and uh, uh, beauty of the Bentley design in other objects or even a tower. So we have developed this uh, concept with uh, Gil Desert in Miami. Uh, uh, and some announcements will come uh, very soon and the sales process is going to start. But of, uh, having already uh, spoken a little bit about it in some, in some media, we can already see a lot of interest from, uh, from our customers. Well, we appreciate you bringing the French panache, the quality, the luxury, the charisma uh, to America. You know, we get a bad rap a lot of times for, for, not, for not having the, be the best tastes in the world. And I've been blessed to travel uh, all over. And we need more of Christophe George here in America. Let's throw Bentley quality onto every product that we can find. I always tell people, even if it looks a little bit more expensive, it's because it's worth it. And you certainly are. And so is Bentley. Bentley.